tumeona over the weekend. Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta rais wetu mustaafu alijitokeza na kuhudhuria ibada na kanisa katika pande ya mwingi. Ikifika jioni Mheshimiwa Kulia ambaye ni waziri, Mheshimiwa Kimani Ishongwa walikuwa kwa mitandao kila mahali wakitukana rais mustaafu. Tunataka kuuliza Mheshimiwa Kimani Ishongwa, Mheshimiwa Kulia. Bona mnaitikia kutumika jia ambayo mnatumiwa na William Ruto? Niwaulize kuna wabunge zaidi ya mia tatu katika bunge. Kuna viongozi, kuna mawaziri. Bona nyinyi wawili wa tatu ndio mnatumika kutukana Uhuru Kenyatta ambaye ni mtoto wenu wa Mount Kenya. Mheshimiwa Kimani Ishongwa Tuta kuambia leo mukiwa na kuria. Uhuru sio, uhuru is not a slave. Eti sahi uhuru wakitaka kufanya kitu chochote lazima wa ruhusa. Hamwezi mkua eti uhuru hana tena uhuru. Wakutoka kwenda kanisa ama kutemperea marafiki. These are young people from Mount Kenya region. Who are sad because of some of the outbursts that our leaders are making. The leaders we are talking about, you saw what are... Ishongwa, Kimani Ishongwa, the majority leader, said about President Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta. You saw what Moses Kuria, a whole minister, said about our former president, uh, Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta. When we were growing up, and these are young people, in our community, we used to respect the leaders who, are, who came before us. People have respected uh, Mwai Kibaki for the longest time. People have respected the Kenyatta, even the... Kumajina uh, ito Kiroga. Yaliki Kiroga ndiyo kiongozi wa bunge la mwananchi Kiambu. Leo tumekuja hapa. Kwanza tukiwa na maramishi. Kwa ile maneno ambayo tumeona over the weekend. Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta rais wetu mustaafu alijitokeza na kuhudhuria ibada na kanisa katika pande ya mwingi. Ikifika jioni Mheshimiwa Kulia ambaye ni waziri, Mheshimiwa Kimani Ishongwa walikuwa kwa mitandao kila mahali wakitukana rais mustaafu. Tuataka kuuliza Mheshimiwa Kimani Ishongwa, Mheshimiwa Kulia. Bona mnaitikia kutumika jia ambayo mnatumiwa na William Ruto? Niwaulize kuna wabunge zaidi ya mia tatu katika bunge. Kuna viongozi, kuna mawaziri. Bona nyinyi wawili wa tatu ndio mnatumika kutukana Uhuru Kenyatta ambaye ni mtoto wenu wa Mount Kenya. Mheshimiwa Kimani Ishongwa, tunataka kuambia leo mkiwa na kuria. Uhuru sio Uhuru is not a slave. Eti sahi uhuru wakitaka kufanya kitu chochote lazima wa ombe ruhusa. Hamwezi mkua eti uhuru hana tena uhuru wakutoka kwenda kanisa ama kutemperea marafiki. Hawezi ikawa uhuru sasa atakitaka kwenda choo lazima wapigia simu kuomba. Ruhusa, tuataka kuambia kitu moja mkome kuingiria mwishimu wa uhuru kenyata. Iyo ingini atataka kusema. Nataka kusema njini wenyewe munajua mulitaganya watu wa Mount Kenya. Mulitumika vibaya sana, sana na wila muto kutaganya watu wa Mount Kenya. Sana. Tuambie leo mpeka mstipende. Mumesikiza ground na mumesikia ground imebadilika. Watu sahi wameambua, wamegudua uongoenu na mjinga amerevuka. Yeah. Na mjinga akirevuka mwelevu huwa tabani. Yeah. Hata mufanye nini wa Kenya, watu wa Mount Kenya wamefunguka macho na sahi kuendelea mbere. Sisi hile mashita tunapitia huku tunapitia sababu yenu. Hakuna wakati mkine mutandaganya watu wa Mount Kenya. Niambia ya mwisho, mwishimua Moses Kudia, kutuwa na mwishimua kemani ishongwa. Muko kwa serekali sahi. Wewe mwishimua kemani ishongwa hile kitu umekaria, ilikaliwa wakati moja na mwishimua Eda Ndware. Ilipokaliwa na mwishimua Eda Ndware, tunajua ele mambo walifanyia watu wako wa Somali. Kwanzia hiyo wakati walijia kwa serekali mpaka wale unengia ofisi unakuta msomali hapo, msomali hapo. Katase of Eda Ndware. Tuko na mwishimua Moses Kudia, ye ni waziri. Tulikuwa na mawaziri hapa kina jenga karume. Leo tuende kiambu ni kuingize. Huu kijana lipereko kwa jeshi na karume. Huu lipereko kwa polisi na karume. Kwa exactly. watu waliajirua kazi. Exactly. Walimu waliajirua. Exactly. Njini mwaka moja, serikali na ajiri watu. Ishongo wa simama utuambie. We ni majore thirida. Umeandikisa walimu wangapi kutoka kiambu. Kuli ya edu waziri. Umetoka za ingine katika Minister of Trade. Ulikuwa na parastato 21 chini yako. We tuambie. Hizo parastato zikuwa zinajiri watu. Tunaona watu kutoka karijin, kutoka wapi, wanajiriwa. Watu wangapi wakiambu umeasaidia kuria. Wakuna. Wakue kwa hiyo serekari. Wakuna. Njini wenye, njini wenyewe mukija kuambia mambo ya uru kenyata, mutuambia muko kwa serekari, mumesaidia watu na muna gani. Muwache kutumiwa, muwache kutumua vimbaya, kuataki mtu wenu na serekari ya wili ya mruto. Sio hawa wili peke yake. Leo kiangaria katika television zetu, mwoste ni zile zinaongea kikuyu. Unakuta wabunge wa mepangwa. Kira wiki kuna kuwa mpaka naratiba. Uyu wataenda... East station leo, mwingine ataenda East station kesho, 
Kwa sababu wameona mambo imeharibika wa Kenya wameanza kudua mambo si mazuri. Wa Kenya wanaanza kuteseka. Sasa wamepangwa kuja ku confuse watu wetu kuwapatia hopu ambao haiko. Tunataka kumwambia kitu moja wa bugu wa Mount Kenya. Kazi yenu ni kusaidia watu wetu. Hamuhitaji William Ruto mahali, mnahitaji kukura yako ya bunge kwenda kupitisha mambo ambayo itamanufa, itakuwa ya manufa kwa watu wetu. So, wacheni kutumika. My name is Joseph Chege. I'm also known as Majuis. I'm the Secretary Social Affairs, Party of National Unity. These are young people from Mount Kenya region who are sad because of some of the outbursts that our leaders are making. The leaders we are talking about, you saw what uh, Ishongwa, Kimani Ishongwa, the majority leader, said about President Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta. You saw what uh, Moses Kuria, a whole minister, said about our former president, uh, Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta. When we were growing up, and these are young people, in our community, we used to respect the leaders who, are, who came before us. People have respected uh, Mwai Kibaki for the longest time. People have respected the Kenyatta, even the Moi. We respected that leader. So seeing that Uhuru cannot even go to a church somewhere and talk his mind because we have some people who can insult him, the Kemanis, Jongwas, and the Moses Kuria, it's a sad day for, uh, for Mount Kenya community. And it's becoming shameful that the whole community, other tribes are watching us as we bring fight to our own homes. You see, even some tribes are wondering, are these the same Kikuyus who we thought were bride, who we thought were the firstborns of this country? talking ill. I saw on uh, our social media, all Kenyans, the way they attacked Kemani Shongwa. Even they told him, respect President Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta. Some of these things they are telling us, yes, Uhuru had taken a loan of six, uh, six, six trillion. And in that loan, you can see the roads that Uhuru had made. Others are flying roads. You can see even the dams that President Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta left. You can see the markets, the infrastructure that President Uhuru left for this country. He left a legacy. In their own government, the Kenya Kwanzaa, as of today, they have taken over four trillion in just one year. Four trillion. And you cannot see even one kilometer of tarmac road. You cannot see even a, a, a pod that they have made. And they are not telling Kenyans where are they taking all this money. But they are just borrowing. But we already know where they're taking the money. Because right now, we have a 17 billion scandal of oil. You know the reason even our neighboring countries, the Ugandas, they have abandoned us from uh, maybe transporting their oil through us. It's because of the mega corruption that's happening with, this, with, with our nation. Because no country, no leader, same leader from other country can be a trading partner of a country whereby corruption is the order of the day. But they have seen people of Mount Kenya as the scapegoats. Whenever they want to, uh, to, to, to advance their stupid agenda, they come to a people of Mount Kenya and tell them, Uhuru did that, Uhuru did that. I'm asking these people, if Mwai Kibaki took over the government and he had all the reasons to blame President Moi for 24 years they squandered this nation, Mwai Kibaki, not even for a moment, did he mention Moi. He did his work, what he promised Kenyans, and he did to the manifesto that he said he was going to do. This government, they have taken Kenyans for a ride. The Mamamboga thing was a hundwig. They can't even tell the ground has left them. These people, their work is to come, Mamamboga, Sijimutua Boda Boda, Sijimamamboga. Right now, as you are talking, a person who are suffering most are the Mamambogas. The Mamambogas are feeling the heat. Some of these youths you are, you are seeing here, most of them 90%, they were doing the work that they employed a lot of people that was started by Urumwege Kenyatta to make these people that trees they are earning something for their families. When this government came, they started with lies that after one, uh, two weeks they will, have a, they will be planting 15 billion trees. Now we are, they, are, they are going to build houses. A lot of lies and conmanship. I'm telling Kenyans for the first time. Kenyans, we need to unite and fight for our rights as the people. Because the people already in the government are con men and what they, 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 they excel in are blame games. We want to tell the Kemani Shung as majority leader, as the people of Mount Kenya. They, had, they went around Mount Kenya telling us about the minimum guarantee that they were going to give out to our farmers. Last year, you could not have even touched them, telling our people that there will be a minimum guarantee 
for the coffee. They will be a guarantee for macadamia. They will, and so on and so on, uh, on all those lies. Right now, the coffee that they said, it was 150. Today, we are talking it's 40 shillings. The macadamia was 180. Today, it's 20 shillings. They are not even ashamed exactly. that by January, exactly. our parents will be That's taking our, our students uh, uh, to Form 1. And most of these people, they don't have even money. This government is taxing the common Mwanainchi to nothing. People are closing their businesses because of the high taxes and their businesses are collapsing. And instead of our leaders in Mount Kenya and go to parliament and push for one man, one vote, one shilling, they are busy here and using the community, using the community as their shield. We want to tell Kemani Shongwa and Moses Kuria, your time is coming. There is a day that we'll try to associate with Kikuyus and we'll tell you you are not one of our own. Kenyans can see that President William Samoito is so curious on matters to do with running the government. Because the moment, the day he was the deputy president for 10 years, his, his work was kutanga tanga. He never even for a moment stayed in office and learned from uh, President Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta how to run a government. He was all over doing campaign. Maybe. So we want, the, uh, we want to tell this government, if you cannot be able to run uh, this nation, do the honorable thing and resign. Yeah. And the, the heat that Kenyans are going, it is being felt all over the country. Yeah. The youths are dying in their homes because exactly. of depression. The exactly. business people, they cannot be able to import goods again because of the skyrocketing dollar. The government does not have a formula on how they can be able to manage the dollar. Look at the fuel. The neighboring countries, the, the, the price of fuel is going down. Globally, the price of fuel is going down. What is happening to Kenya? It's going up because we have thugs in government who cannot empathize with the common one who is suffering. Yes. Yes. Exactly. 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 Exactly.